Hey guys, let's talk about a event that is currently happening at GP Charlotte. So essentially, due to unexpected and unfixable issue with Wizard of the Coast Grand Prix Tournament Management software, they were unable to pair the rest of the day one rounds, the Swiss style. Uh, after consulting with Wizard of the Coast of how best to address the issue, Star City Games proceeded by pairing the rest of day one's rounds randomly so it was possible for a undefeated player to play a player who did not win a single game uh, because of this star city games offered the main event participants an option to drop before round five which begins at 5 p.m and play in all challenge side events for free for the rest of the weekend including sunday so it's a two-day pass essentially in addition they added four challenge events to today's which would be Saturday's schedule which was extremely nice for them to do challenge events do, do have kind of a high return on investment if you look at it that way but how does it get to a point where uh, the main problem I see would be someone who paid for traveling travel expenses include hotel for two free nights uh, food uh, plane ticket if they were not from Charlotte and they paid all that money to travel to play and participate at the main event, being forced out of the main event to do side events essentially does feel kind of bad. So Magic the Gathering has, and this is good PR, they have admitted that Star City Games is doing the best job they can and it's their problem. It's their tournament software problem. Worst case scenario, you travel all the way from you know, a different country to go to at GP Charlotte and you're really interested in a main event because you want to cash, you want to try to make back your money, maybe even make some money. And now you have to do side events because you lost or the random pairing was unfavorable to you. And there will be one or two, there won't be a ton of individuals that fits, but I believe there will be at least a few. So overall, a very good way for Star City Games to handle the software failure. I'm surprised that the software can fail like this and there's no backup. Or if there was a backup, the backup obviously failed. It seems kind of important, you know, a kind of really important piece of software to have. Now software, from a developer standpoint, it can fail. But typically you have a backup of a backup. Of, and there's other things you can do to pair these players in a reasonable manner and hopefully Wizard of Coast fixes that for next time around.